Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters. I trust you all are well. This morning, I am glad to share the English devotional with you. I'm sure you are aware that I have been giving the Hokkien devotion on every Wednesday. However, this morning, let me read Revelation chapter 3, verse 1 to 6 and share a short word of encouragement with you. Revelation 3, 1 to 6, to the angel of the church of Saudis write, These are the works of him who holds the seven spirit of God and of seven stars. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Verse 2, wake up. Strengthen what remains and is about to die. For I have found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my God. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard. Holy fast and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief and you will not know at what time I will come to you. Verse 4, Yet you have a few people in Southeast who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. The one who is victorious will, like them, be dressed in white. I will never blot out the name of that person from the book of life, but will acknowledge that name before my father and his angels. Whoever has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Here is what our Lord Jesus said to the church at Saudis. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. The church in Southeast was founded during Paul's ministry at Ephesus. Outsiders saw the church as alive and well. It was an impress impressive church, but Jesus knew what was going on inside. It was dead. And his message to the church was, wake up. How can we know when a church is dying? And here are the signs a believer is spiritually dying. One, a church or a believer is dying spiritually when it fails to fulfill the works of God. Jesus said in verse 2, I have found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my God. A church is spiritually dying when it allows the work of God to go incomplete. What God has called us to do? The answer is to love God and our neighbor, to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. Micah 6 8. To care for widows and orphans in distress, to feed the hungry, to tend to the sick, to welcome the foreigners, to visit the prisoners, to share the gospel, and to shine 
for Jesus Christ. The church at Southeast seems alive, but God knew what they had, a lot of unfinished work. Jesus said in John 9, 4, I must work the works of him who sent me. So what must we do? Verse 2 tells us, Wake up, brethren, strengthen what remains and what is about to die. Stop, stop sleeping. Get into the word of God. Strengthen your faith. If we do not watch our spiritual situation, it will begin to decline. Ephesians 5 verse 14 tells us, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the spiritually dead, and Christ will give you light. Amen? Next, a church of believers is spiritually dying when you lose the awareness of God's presence. In the Old Testament, the Bible mentions in Judges 16.20 that Samson did not know that the Lord had left him. How tragic. Without the presence of God, Samson was arrested and later killed. But here is a question for all of us. Here we have, have we stopped caring for the active presence of God? Psalm 16 verse 1 tells us, You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy. At your right hand are pressure forevermore. Now verse 3 tells us, Remember therefore what you have received and heard. Hold it fast and repent. And if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief. Within this verse are four actions. Remember, hold fast to what you have received and heard. Repent and wake up. This is a command given in love. Because my beloved brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus will come unexpectedly. Christians who are not spiritually alert will, not, will be unprepared and left behind. A third sign that the church of believers is dying spiritually is a careless life. Verse 4 tells us, only a few people in the church had not been corrupted by sin. Yet, you have few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me, dressed in white, for they are worthy. What happened to the rest? They did not care how they live. The key word, to the church in Southeast is wake up. For those who overcome, verse 5, God will give white garments. Not only Jesus said that, I will never blot out the name of that person from the book of life, but will acknowledge that name before my Father and His angel. That's an awesome reward, my brothers and sisters. And in closing, the closing words of the church is in verse 6. He who has ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church of to the churches. Let me close that I wished ALFC will be a church that exalts our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Two, evangelism of the lost. Three, edification of believers. Four, expressions of service. Faith. Five, fill with the spirit of love for one another. Let's pray. Dear Father God, we thank you that you are faithful. You are merciful. You loved us with everlasting love. Help us to be aware, to know that the coming of your son Jesus is near. We are living at the end time. Any moment, your son, our beloved Savior, will return to take us back to glory. Pray that all of us will not be left behind. Pray that all of us will wake up in our sleep. Be watchful and be prayerful. And to love you with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. To obey, to obey your great commission. To share the gospel and to make Jesus Christ known. So, Father... Be with each one of my brothers and sisters, especially at this time when COVID-19 is spreading so badly all around the world. But cover all of us with the precious blood of Jesus and be with us. Our going out and our coming in are ordained by the Lord our God. May God be with my brothers and sisters and bless every family in our assembly. Your servant give thanks and pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen.